Hello and welcome back to Boogish Theories. In today's video, we'd like to talk about less FMs and forgiven Japanese version, focusing on a little breakdown of the video to see how it is connected to the rest of the album. Now, with the release of the Japanese video, the Unforgiven era comes to an end with the girls fulfilling the goal that they announced all the way back in Burn the Bridge. Back then, Les Seraphim refused to stay within the limits imposed by others, so they chose to follow the forbidden path and pave their own way without caring about the judgment of those trying to hold them back. The Unforgiven chapter of their journey was all about them setting themselves free from their responsibility to meet the expectations of other people. At first they were fearless girls claiming the world as their oyster, then they became anti-fragile hydras growing stronger and more powerful every time they got hurt, but with Unforgiven we dived even deeper into this journey of growth. In Unforgiven they are no longer apologizing for who they are and what they want, they come together to move towards their goals and they will continue to do so even if that means becoming the villain in someone else's eyes. This is a concept that was introduced in Burn the Bridge, developed in Unforgiven, and explored even more in Eve's psyche and the Bluebeard's wife. Much like the female characters mentioned in that song, in this era Le Seraphim chose disobedience, they chose to rebel against the rules they were imposed, because by doing so they can walk the path they always wanted. Now as you might have noticed, the Japanese version references both the Korean Unforgiven, as well as some symbolism used in Burn the Bridge. At the beginning, the video opens in the same restaurant we saw in the first version. This time, however, Unche kicks the video off by delivering a belt to Kazua's table. Kazua uses the belt to get the attention of the people, and in doing so she sets the scene for the act of rebellion they are about to perform. As the girls bring chaos in the restaurant, we also see Unche standing on the bridge with a shining green moon in the background. She's wearing the same devilish hoodie of the other video, which is a sign that they are becoming the villain in someone else's story, and in her hands we can see the shining heart that Yunjin was holding against the moon back in Burn the Bridge. Now this visual reference is very cool here, back then the heart was created created as a result of the girls burning the books in a ritual. According to the press release, that scene symbolized old rules and prejudices going up in flames as the girls rejected those dogmas, so in that context that heart represented a rebirth of some sorts. Chewon left the old heart behind, and as they came together they created a new, illuminated heart from the ashes of the dogmas they rejected. In the new video, Unche is holding the same heart on the bridge they are about to burn. The moon is now green because it's their world the one we are seeing now. Since they are unforgiving, given and reject tradition, the reality reflects that, so like we saw in the past, we see Kazua ripping off her burning wing, and the girls burning the book representing those principles they are no longer associating with. On the same shrine, we also see Sakura with her sword, and this time she also uses it to cut off Kazua's fabric wings. Once again, this is a way to show that what for some may look like a downfall, for them is a liberation. They might be idols, but they are not idols to be worshipped, they are no angels, they are no celestials, and that's fine by them, because by rejecting that idealized image they can leave those old standards in the past and express themselves more freely in the future. By the end, the girls move on as they leave the burnt bridge behind. By burning that bridge, that is, by severing their connection with outdated rules and limitations, the girls were able to light the path ahead and move forward without looking back. The Unforgiven Era ended exactly like they told us it would end, with them coming together, burning the bridge, and going beyond the limits and towards a faraway land full of possibilities. To see what Les Seraphim have in store for us, for now we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye!